This is the story of the worst Warzone play in history. You thought I was killing you? <laughs> it all started when a young boy by the gamer tag of Franks and Beans first touched a controller. But hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Right away, this young gamer demonstrated heaps of talent in just about every game he played. He was the kid in school that no one wanted to 1v1 in Halo. His natural talent only took him so far as he began to dedicate his life to becoming a pro. Franks and Beans is one of the biggest Kobe Bryant fans of all time. Kobe had an unmatched work ethic and zero quit in him. Franks and Beans would attempt to carry these values over to gaming. He'd be there an hour, two hours before everybody. Everybody would be at breakfast, and he would show up fully sweated out, like he'd just done three hours of work and that before anybody did anything. After many years of gaming, Frank finally broke through on Call of Duty Cold War. Not long after starting on the new COD, he reached the master ranked in lead play. He also began to find massive success in other FPS games like Valorant. Franks and Beans was quickly rising as one of the top FPS players today. Frank decided to take the extra step and started posting on YouTube where he quickly found success. However, this was the beginning of the end for the aspiring Warzone Pro. After his newfound success, Franks and Beans took to Twitter where he began to brag about his Call of Duty ability. He would even text friends attempting to tear down the Call of Duty GOAT. Despite his problematic personality, he was welcomed with open arms to collaborate with Zone Dojo on YouTube and post content together. Yes, sir. Nice job. Come on, baby. Let's go, baby. Not long after, Zone Dojo viewers would question Frank's motives and loyalty. You know, personally, I don't. I don't really trust him. Frank's a fucking liar, man. With the addition of Franks and Beans, Zone Dojo's A Squad quickly racked up some of the most Warzone 2 wins in the world. This success was ultimately ephemeral. On January 2nd, 2023, Franks and Beans' career would be over forever. Here is the worst play in Warzone history. Got one, got one! I don't like this play. Mid senior. Yes! Did you realize that's what makes true greatness? Come on! That's it? No! No, no, no! no. What? How did you not see that? But it was too late, bro. Oh my goodness gracious. They're all down. What? That was a J.R. Smith moment. Watch James. Now wanted a timeout, but too late to get it. And five. I thought there was one more. No, they're they're all down. Fuck! Have a Frank. You boss it, buddy. I'm so disappointed in you. You are not unlucky, you are a lazy fucking loser. That's, that's, you are not unlucky. The A Squad and Franks and Beans would never be the same, and that became obvious instantly. Franks and Beans lost all his discipline, going rogue on team orders by solo dropping. You say Zio? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Soon came the nail in the coffin. Seemingly forgetting the philosophies of his mentor, Kobe, Frank did the unthinkable. Fuck this! Ugh! Fuck! What the fuck is that horse yeah. shit? You really sound like an angsty teenager. That was crazy! Rage. Gamer rage. <laughs> rage Taj. Oh. I think he quit. Get drunk? I have to rage live <laughs> in front of all the boys when I'm literally at a buy. Immediately after this play, Franks and Beans was thrown out of Zone Dojo's A squad. 
his hopes of joining Optic Gaming evaporated. Zone Dojo had a void to fill. Luckily, there was a player lurking in the shadows. There were whispers from around the COD community that a Zone Dojo B Squad player was wreaking havoc on El Masra. Some even referred to him as a demon. You thought I was feeling you? It is time to announce the return of Mad Fatty on Toilet, now referred to as the Corporate Elbow. The most electrifying move in sports entertainment today, the Corporate Elbow. Woohoo! The Corporate Elbow! I can't wait to see it! If she feeling hot, then I make the bitch frozen. I get a bitch tired every time that I post. Damn.